Concern number 10564, it's my understanding that the jury has reached a verdict on all four cases. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Could you please provide those verdict sheets to Officer Marvin? Before we proceed going through the verdict, um, I'm going to ask the court clerk to take roll. You'll be identified by juror number based upon seat as well as the last four digits on your juror badge. Proceed. Can you please stay here when I see your uh, juror number? Juror number 0564. Stay here. Jury number 0018. Here. Jury number 0175. Here. Jury number 0502. Present. Yeah, I guess. Um, Jury number 0342. Here. Thank you. Oh, I can see her. Juror number um, 0103. Here. Thank you. Did we get everyone? Yes. Let's do this alphabetically. So let us begin with regard to um, Douglas and Rosalind Bart. Okay? Question number one. Have the plaintiffs Douglas and Roslyn Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that Douglas Barden was exposed to asbestos from any of the following defendants' talc products. What was the jury uh, verdict as to Johnson & Johnson? Um, <coughs> the verdict was uh, yes. Okay. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Okay. So I'm going to poll the jury as to each question. As to question one, as to Johnson and Johnson, juror number one, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number two, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number three, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number four, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number five, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number eight, do you agree with that vote? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? I voted yes. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Juror number one, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number two, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number three, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number four, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number five, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Juror number eight, do you agree with that vote? 
For any defendant or defendants as to which you answered yes, proceed to question number two. Question number two. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were not reasonably fit, suitable, and safe for their intended or reasonably foreseeable uses because they lacked an adequate warning or instruction? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? The vote yes. And what was the vote? Six to no. Do you agree with that vote, juror number one? Yes. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number eight? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer <coughs> Incorporated, what was uh, the jury's verdict? The vote yes. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Juror number one, do you agree with that vote? Yes. Number two? Yes. Number three? Yes. Number four? Yes. Number five? Yes. Number eight? For any defendant or defendant as to which you answered yes, proceed to question number three. Question number three. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that Douglas Barden's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' top products that lacked adequate warnings or instructions was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Good. Yes. And what was the vote? Five to one. Okay. As to this, juror number one, what was your uh, vote? Yes or no? No. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number eight? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Uh, yes. And what was the vote? Five to one. And juror number one, what was your vote? No. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Proceed to question four. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were defectively designed because the risk or danger of the product as designed outweighed its usefulness and therefore a reasonably careful manufacturer or supplier would not have sold the product in the form in which it was sold. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, jury number one? Yes. Number two? Yes. Number three? Yes. Number four? Yes. Number five? Yes. Number eight? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, number one? Yes. Number two? Yes. Number three? Yes. Number four? Yes. Number five? Yes. Number eight? Yes. For any defendant or defendants as to which you answered yes, proceed to question number five. Question five. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that Douglas Barden's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' top products that were defectively designed was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. Juror number one, what was your um, vote? No. Juror number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Number four? Yes. Number five? Yes. Number eight? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. What was your vote, number one? No. Number two. Number three. Yes. Number four. Yes. Number five. Yes. Number eight. Proceed to question six. Question six. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were defectively manufactured because their composition deviated from the defendants' design, specifications, or standards? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, juror one? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. For any defendant or defendants as to which you've answered, uh, 
no, oh wait, I'm sorry, for any defendant or defendant that's a voice issue answered yes, proceed to question seven. Question seven. Have plaintiffs Douglas and Rosalind Barden proven by a preponderance of the evidence that Douglas Barden's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants child products that were defectively manufactured was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. Uh, what was your vote, juror one? No. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five Juror number one, what was your vote? No. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? If you answered yes as to either defendant on questions three, five, or seven, proceed to question eight. Question eight. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Douglas Barden for his past disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's uh, response? 1.9 million. What was the jury's vote on that? What was the vote? Oh, uh, six to zero. Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? Yes. Question nine, what sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Douglas Barden for his future disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's verdict on that? Four million. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that jury one? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Question 10. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Rosalind Barden for her past loss of Douglas Barden's spousal services, society, and consortium? What was the jury's uh, decision on that? 400,000. And what was the vote? 6 to 0. Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. 2. Yes. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. 5. Yes. 8. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Rosalind Barden for her future loss of Douglas Barden's spousal services society and consortium? What was the jury's decision? 915,000. And what was the vote? 6 to 0. Do you agree with that, Juror 1? Yes. 2. Yes. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. 5. Yes. 6. I mean 8. Thank you. Let's proceed to question 12. If you answered yes as to both Johnson & Johnson and Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated in any of questions 3, 5, or 7, set forth the percentage that you find describes or measures their contribution to the cause of Douglas Barden's mesothelioma. The percentages must add up to 100%. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the percentage that the jury determined? 80%. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Two, three, yes. Four, yes. Five, yes. Eight. And as to Johnson Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the percentage? Twenty percent. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Two, yes. three, yes. Four, yes. Five, yes. Eight. Have you signed this um, verdict as the juror first or four person juror one? Yes. Thank you. Let us now proceed to David and Darlene Etheridge. Let me know when you're ready. Right. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by preponderance of the evidence that David Etheridge was exposed to asbestos from any of the following defendants' talc products? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Juror two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Eight? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six Do you agree with that, juror one? Yes. Two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Eight? Question two. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by a preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products 
were not reasonably fit, suitable, and safe for their intended or reasonably foreseeable uses because they lacked an adequate warning or instruction. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Do you agree with that, Chair Lamar? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five. Do you agree with that, Chair number? Uh, Chair number one. Excuse me. What was your vote? Yes. Chair number two. No. Chair number three. Yes. Chair four. Yes. Chair five. Yes. Chair eight. Yes. Proceed to question three. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by preponderance of the evidence that David Etheridge's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendant's top products that lack adequate warnings or instruction was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. What was your vote, juror number one? No. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. And what was the vote? 5-1. What was your vote, juror number one? No. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? Yes. Proceed to question four. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by a preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' TALF products were defectively designed because the risk or danger of the product as designed outweighed its usefulness and therefore a reasonably careful manufacturer or supplier would not have sold the product in the form in which it was sold? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Proceed to question 5. Have Plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by preponderance of the evidence that David Etheridge's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' towel products that were defectively designed was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. Juror number one, what was your vote? No. Juror two? Yes. Juror three? Yes. Juror four? Yes. Juror five? Yes. Juror eight? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. Juror number one, what was your vote? No. Juror two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Eight? Yes. Question six. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' health products were defectively manufactured because their composition deviated from defendants' design, specifications, or standards? As for Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Juror number one, do you agree with that? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, juror one? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Question number seven. Have plaintiffs David and Darlene Etheridge proven by preponderance of the evidence David Etheridge's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' health products that were defectively manufactured was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. Juror number one, what was your vote? No. Juror two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Eight? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's vote? Yes. I'm sorry, verdict, yes. And what was the vote? 5-1. Um, <coughs> juror number one, what was your vote? No. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. If you answered yes as to either defendant on questions three, five, or seven, proceed to question eight. Question eight. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate David Etheridge for his lost earnings? What was the jury's determination? 1.4 million. And what was the vote? 6 to 0. 
Do you agree with that, though, Chair? One. Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question nine. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate David Etheridge for his past disability impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's determination? Two more. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that, Dr. Chair? One. Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question 10. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate David Etheridge for his future disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's determination? 4.7 million. What was the vote? 6 to 0. Do you agree with that, though, Juror 1? <coughs> 2. Yes. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. 5. Yes. 8. Yes. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Darlene Etheridge for her past loss of David Etheridge's Spousal Services Society and Consortium. What was the jury's determination? 400,000. And what was the vote? 6 to 0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2. Yes. 3. Yes. 4. Yes. 5. Yes. 8. Yes. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Darlene Etheridge for her future loss of David Etheridge's Spousal Services Society and Consortium? What was the jury's determination? 930,000. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question thirteen. If you answered yes as to both Johnson and Johnson and Johnson and Johnson and Consumer <coughs> Incorporated, in any of questions three, five, or seven, set forth the percentage that you find describes or measures their contribution to the cause of David Etheridge's mesothelioma. Percentages must add up to one hundred percent. As to Johnson and Johnson, what was the percentage the jury determined? Eighty percent. And what was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson and Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the percentage the jury attributed? One percent. Do you agree? Uh, and what was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? Yes. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Have you signed this verdict sheet as a third person juror number one? Yes. Okay. Let us now proceed to D'Angelo McNeil. Let me know when you're ready. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that she was exposed to asbestos from any of the following defendants' health products? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6 to 0. Do you agree with that vote, juror one? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? Yes. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question number two. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were not reasonably fit, suitable, and safe for their intended or reasonably foreseeable uses because they lacked an adequate warning or instruction. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the <coughs> jury's uh, verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Chairman? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Chairman? Yes. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question number three. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that her exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' talc products that lacked adequate warnings or instructions was a substantial factor in causing her mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. Jury number one, what was your vote? No. Jury two. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. Juror number one, what was your vote? No. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question four. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' health products were defectively designed because the risk or danger of the product as designed outweighed its usefulness and therefore a reasonably careful manufacturer or supplier 
were not to sell the product in the form in which it was sold. After Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's vote? Yes. What was, I mean, verdict, what was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Question 5. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that her exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendant's top products that were defectively designed was a substantial factor in causing the mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. What was your vote, Juror 1? No. Juror 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. What was your vote, Juror 1? 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Question 6. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendant's top products were defectively manufactured because their composition deviated from defendant's design specifications or standards? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Has plaintiff D'Angelo McNeil proven by preponderance of the evidence that her exposure to asbestos or many of the following defendant's top products that were defectively manufactured was a substantial factor in causing her mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. What was your vote, Juror 1? No. Juror 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 5-1. Juror number 1, what was your vote? No. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Question 8. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate D'Angelo McNeil for her past disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's determination? 4.4 million. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate D'Angelo McNeil for her future disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's determination? 10.3 million. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? If you answered yes as to both Johnson & Johnson and Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated in any of questions 3, 5, or 7, such what the percentage you find describes or measures their contribution to the cause of D'Angelo McNeil's mesothelioma, percentages must add up to 100%. As to Johnson & Johnson, what percentage did the jury assign? 100%. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what percentage did the jury assign? 80%. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Juror number 1, is the juror four person who signed this uh, verdict? Yes. Let's proceed to William Warning. Let me know when you're ready. Question one, have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that William Ronning was exposed to asbestos from any of the following defendants' top products? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Question 2. 
have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were not reasonably fit, suitable, and safe for their intended or reasonably foreseeable uses because they lacked an adequate warning or instruction. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Question three. Have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that William Ronning's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' top products that lacked adequate warnings or instruction was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five one. What was your vote, Juror 1? None. Juror 2? Juror 3? Yes. Juror 4? Yes. Juror 5? Yes. Juror 6? Yes. Uh, eight. Uh, as to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the uh, vote? 5 one. What was your vote, Juror 1? None. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. Question 4. Have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' child products were defectively designed because the risk or danger of the product as designed outweighed its usefulness and therefore a reasonably careful manufacturer or supplier would not have sold the product in the form in which it was sold. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. Two. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Have plaintiffs Elizabeth and William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that William Ronning's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' top products that were defectively designed was the substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma? As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five to one. Uh, what was your vote, Juror 1? None. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five. Two. Juror number one, what was your vote? None. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question six. Have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Romney proven by preponderance of the evidence that any of the following defendants' top products were defectively manufactured because their composition deviated from defendants' design, specifications, or standards. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. Two? Yes. Three? Yes. Four? Yes. Five? Yes. Eight? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Six Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Two. Yes. <laughs> One. Yes. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As uh, question seven, have plaintiffs William and Elizabeth Ronning proven by preponderance of the evidence that William Ronning's exposure to asbestos from any of the following defendants' tough products that were defectively manufactured was a substantial factor in causing his mesothelioma. As to Johnson & Johnson, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five one. Juror number one, what was your vote? None. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's verdict? Yes. What was the vote? Five one. Juror number one, what was your vote? None. Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Yes. Eight. Yes. Question number eight. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate William Ronning for his past disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's decision? One point one million. What was the vote? Six to zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? <coughs> Two. Yes. Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. 
What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate William Ronning for his future disability, impairment, loss of enjoyment of life, and pain and suffering? What was the jury's determination? 2.7 million. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, juror 1? Yes. Juror 2? Yes. Juror 3? Yes. Juror 4? Yes. Juror 5? Yes. Juror 8? Yes. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Elizabeth Ronning for her past loss of William Ronnie's Spousal Services Society and Consortium? What was the jury's determination? 600,000. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Elizabeth Ronnie for her future loss of William Ronnie's Spousal Services Society and Consortium? What was the jury's determination? Six point five million. What was the vote? Six zero. Do you agree with that vote, Juror One? Yes. Two. Yes. Three. I'm not sure that's I'm sorry, uh, let me, I'm going to read that question one more time. What sum of money will fairly and reasonably compensate Elizabeth Ronnie for her future loss of William Ronnie's Spousal Services Society and Consortium? What was the jury's determination? 1.5 million. What was the vote? 6-0. Do you agree with that vote, jury number one? Yes. Jury number two? Yes. Juror number three? Yes. Juror number four? Yes. Juror number five? Yes. Juror number eight? Yes. Thank you. Could you please, I can tell you, oh, I'm sorry. Let's go to question 12. I apologize. Next page. If you answered yes as to both Johnson & Johnson and Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, in many of questions three, five, seven, set forth the percentages you find, describes and measures the contribution to the cause of William Ryan's mesothelioma, the percentages must add up to 100%. As to Johnson & Johnson, what percentage did the jury determine? 50%. And what was the vote? 60%. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Yes. 3? Yes. 4? Yes. 5? Yes. 8? Yes. As to Johnson & Johnson Consumer Incorporated, what was the jury's determination? 50%. Do you agree with that? And what was the vote? 60%. Do you agree with that vote, Juror 1? Yes. 2? Three. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Eight. Yes. Juror number one, as the jury four person, have you signed this verdict sheet? Yes. Could you please provide all the verdict sheets now to Officer Margaret? Could I see counsel at sidebar three hundred? 